Lamar is hyped about that passing game. And I know I'm not the only one that's hyped too. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat. Purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty. So Lamar went on the Ravens podcast. This was, it was really, he was a really good listener, really. He, that dude, that dude, um, charisma, personality. Just a lovable man. Like, dang. You know what I'm saying? It's like when I'm listening to him talk, he's just like like one of the guys, really. He's like one of the guys just chilling, chatting. It's like what everybody say. He's just a lovable guy. It's really hard to hate on this man. They even asked him a question about that. And he said something that I always say to, to a lot of people is that Jesus was the only man that was perfect. But people still find something to hate on him about. And not saying Lamar is Jesus, but you gonna always find some people gonna always find something to hate about. Either they hate him because they can't do it, or that person not not playing for their team. It's always something. LeBron James, he mentioned that. LeBron been he's 36, 38 years old. They continually hate on this man. For what? Doing his job and dominating his job for pretty much over a decade, like. But anyway, so they asked Lamar about the passing, and Lamar said him and Giro is on the same page. And I'm thinking, like, man. With this new, it's a full. So we gonna have to see you. Y'all already know how I feel about Greg Roman, but it's gonna be interesting to see because we didn't have a full off season, so he can tweak it. The passing coordinator and the new wide receiver coach, Keith Williams and T. Martin, they can kind of work with Giro. So that's something. As you can see, my little man is hyped as well, as you can hear. Um, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see. But we really haven't seen footage, and we know Harps. We ain't gonna really see that footage in preseason either. Probably see one or two players. But Lamar is really high. He said he want to give all his wide receivers a thousand yards. And. I, I be looking at myself like, I don't know where this come from. You know, it been there, but it's like, where this come from? Like, this demeanor, like, you you got to prove them wrong. Then I got these receivers, like, Hollywood. Then I got Bateman. Then I got Sammy. You know, then I got Doof. Then I got James. Then I got Tylen. Then we got Miles. Like, then we got Mark. Like, we we got we got something we working with. Like, they going to have to stop these guys. They going to have to stop all of us. You know, but we ain't going to say too much. We ain't going to talk about it. We're going to show them on the field. You do your talking on the field. We don't do the talking on social media and stuff, this and that, back and forth. We do our talking on the field, so that's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm three excited. Not two, I'm three excited for him. <laughs> <laughs> five excited for him because he got number five now. I'm five excited for him because I know he ready. He be talking about it all the time. Like, he pumped. Like, he can't wait to show people, you know, and I can't wait to show him with him. Like, we going to do it. I need, I need him to have a thousand or more this year. Like, that's me and his goal. Like, I need him to have that, you know. I want all my receivers to have a thousand. If I can, do something nobody ever seen, you know. I want I want to do something like that. Like, I need, all of us need to join in and do that, though. He said he want to give him and Hollywood talking about that thousand and something yards, you know, stuff like that. But he just brought up all the wide receivers. He brought up Hollywood. He brought up Baden. He brought up Sammy. He brought up Dev, he brought up James, he brought up Tylen, he brought up Miles. And I was like, Miles? What? He brought up Mark. He he really just brought up pretty much everybody. That's a guaranteed lock. And it's going to be interesting. I just can't wait to see it. I can't. Then he... With him and Giro being on the same page, 
I'm really hoping it works out. I'm really hoping it works out. Because I was looking at an old, um, what was it? What, what year that was? Actually, it was 2012. The little Great American, whatever they call it, where the Ravens won the uh, Super Bowl. And then in the middle of that year, Harbaugh fired the offense coordinator in the middle of that year. And they like flipped the switch. Everybody was going after that. It's like the first, I think, after that switch, I think the first game or maybe the second, first and second game, it was kind of bumpy. But then everybody got on that, that train again and we won the Super Bowl. But in order for that to happen, we was doing bad. And I'm not hoping this year that happens. I know I have multiple videos saying, fire Greg Roman. But if we were to fire Greg Roman, that means the offense wasn't doing too good. And vice versa. That means we could possibly be losing. And I don't want that. Now, I don't have us going undefeated, but it would be nice. But we know we got the additional game and all this other stuff. But hopefully they on the same page. Everything's gelling and smooth and smooth selling and everything like that. Wide receivers, Bateman and Hollywood and Tyler, all of them, Lamar mentioned, everybody clowning. And I mean everybody, even Miles. But hopefully he can do good this season as well. Then Lamar in the podcast said something very, very interesting. Oh, Tom, Tom Brady's, Brady's Tom pretty Brady, old. Tom, Brady. Tom Brady's pretty old. That's Tom Brady, if anything, because, you know, he the one with the, the most Super Bowls out of everybody in the league. Probably even franchises. He got more Super Bowl than franchises. So it was like, I got to chase Brady perfection, man. Like, how he do it. Like, I got to get with him. He need to stop playing. I need to get with him on the offseason, bro. Like, Brady, if you ever hear this, man, me and you, we need to see each other, man. <laughs> trying to get that Brady method trying? going. Huh? Is he ignoring your text messages or something? Nah, he, he didn't ignore me, but you know, he was he was busy. You know, he just came off a Super Bowl winning little oh, celebration. All right, all right. So, uh, I'll give him a pass. I get to give Brady a pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you could, you we know he's person he caught about he looks up to is Tom Brady he even mentioned how, how Tom Brady he said this multiple times he said this to Ray Lewis a person he look up to and they asked him he's said it constantly is Tom Brady because Tom Brady has won multiple 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 Super Bowls but Lamar said not only does he want to do that with the Ravens, which you know he's gonna be a Raven for life, he's he's probably gonna have a statue out there. You know, Ray Lewis, Ed Reed should get a statue, then Lamar. But he said after he wins multiple multiple Super Bowls, he's gonna change his number. Oh, Miss Megan, I said we win the Super Bowl. I'm I'm going to number one. Like I wanna. Ooh. Yeah. Really? All right. That's, like that's that. my risen that's my first number ever. My dad told me number one, get number one because that's the best. Like you the best. And they always stuck with me. And I got number eight when I went to college. And then my mom told me eight stands for new beginning. So I was like, dang, it's a new beginning. So I kept eight. Kept eight. My coach asked me in college, he's like, what number you want? I'm like, I wanted number one, but y'all gave me number eight. But it's all good because I know what it stands for now. And, you know, I just say I want to retire number eight and number one. I want to do that here at the Ravens. So I want to win a Super Bowl with number eight on, do much as I can with number eight on, then come back and do the same thing with one on. Mm -hmm. Nice. You, you wait, so you're you serious. You actually would switch I'm it? I'm dead serious. I, I want to retire. I want to retire my number. I want to retire eight and one at the same time. So Pat might not ever get that number. But wait, what What number do you wear when you, when you win eight Super Bowls? Do you go back to eight? <laughs> Nah, if I went eight, I'm going to keep one. I just want eight. Okay, I just, all I right. gave them eight up, but I'm going to keep one. <laughs> you basically want to go the Kobe method. He retired both numbers, 24 and eight. So and there eight, you go. Yeah. You want to follow the Kobe yeah. method. Yeah. To number one, 
out of respect for his dad. I can't remember the exact words he said. I'm going I'm to play the clip, but I can't remember the exact words how he said it, but I was like, dang, that's deep. Right? And how, I ain't, yeah, yeah. and everybody's going to get that number one jersey. He said he wanted he want to do the Black Mamba method. He wanted to do the Kobe, Kobe method. And after Ravens retired, two numbers. Kobe, 24 and 8. Lamar, 8 and 1. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. When I'm like, man, that would be so cool. That'd be so cool if he could do that. Cause I don't know no other player in the NFL that has two numbers retired for one team. That would be Kobe esque. Man, that I know some people like man, I done bought this man. This dude done won multiple Super Bowls for us in number eight, and then he gonna win some more number one. But not say nothing. But that's that's respect. This he just keep getting better and better. 